Rising temperatures globally have prompted serious concern across the globe. One of the main causes of global warming is the use of carbon fuels for energy production. Scientists have found that wind power could be a powerful tool to solve this problem. Most wind turbines work the way they do because their blades have an aerofoil shape. When air moves over an aerofoil, there are two forces that arise. There's the lift force, which acts perpendicularly to the direction of movement of air, and then there's the drag force, which acts in the same direction as the air. Ultimately, it's one of these two forces that allows the turbine to rotate. Wind turbines are classified into two categories, horizontal axis wind turbines, or HOTS, and vertical axis wind turbines, or VOTS. HOTS rotate about an axis that is parallel to the ground and primarily operate on lift force. One of the main advantages of HOTS are their higher efficiency than VOTS. They're up to about 20% more efficient. This happens because each blade has its own lift force for rotation, whereas in VOTS, some blades backtrack against the wind, which means that it has a lower drag force than the other blade. This means that the other blade gets a free ride, so to speak. However, HOTS can be quite costly to install, and most HOTS are upwind, which means they require a yawing device to turn the blades toward the wind for it to work optimally. Then we have the VOTs. VOTs rotate about an axis that is vertical to the ground and operate on either lift or drag force depending on the model. The Savonius turbine is a primary example of a drag type VOT and the Darius or Eggbeater turbine is an example of a lift type VOT. Unlike HOTs, VOTs are omnidirectional, which means it can function regardless of the direction of wind. VOTs are also much cheaper than HOTS to install and are favored in tight budget situations where efficiency is not the priority. I hope you've learned something new about wind turbines. Thank you for watching.